What's up you guys and welcome back to another installment of As Told by Brittany D. And of course I am Brittany D and today I am back with another lock tutorial for you guys. And in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to do my little swoop de swoop mix with my tower. If you guys follow me on Instagram then you guys know what look I am talking about. But if you don't, boom here's a little picture to refresh your memory. So this is the look that we will be doing today. It's giving very early to thousand euphoria vibes you know i'm digging it so let's jump right into it okay oh and before i forget to mention if you hear a little ruckus in the background that is my children you know school's out for summer so um please excuse them but anywho we're gonna start off by brushing my locks i did went ahead and moisturized my baby with my oil butter it will be available for purchase in September, so you guys make sure that you are on the lookout for that. But anywho, I am going to begin separating my locks to determine which locks will be a part of my swoop and what will be a part of my tower. So I have selected the locks that will be a part of my swoop bang, and now I'm just collecting the remaining locks. That way I can visualize what I am trying to envision if that makes sense so I'm just trying to make sure it looks right on my head I'm sitting here trying to do all this fancy talk I'm just trying to make sure it looks right on my head that's it so I'm going to take my soft bristle brush and begin brushing my locks upwards to create my Marge Simpson inspired tower again if you guys want to see a more in-depth video I have one available on my YouTube but as always I love to save some time so I am going to go ahead and do this off camera once I am done with my tower I'm going to begin swooping and pinning my locks to create that bang now i will say this was harder than expected so make sure your schedule is open today because you will have to play around with this but before i start on my bang i'm going to clean up around my tower by applying some edge control and i like doing this because it gives my no retwist styles a more neater look so i like to apply some edge control then go in with my soft bristle brush to spread it evenly now my favorite edge control to use is the light pink style factor that's the only one that doesn't flake so i like to apply that to my edges and then i like to go back in with a smaller brush this is my edge control brush you can pick up one of these little brushes at your local beauty supply store but i like to go in with this edge brush just to give my edges a more precise look you know do the little swoops and you know just really clean up that area with those brushes but once i get it looking nice and neat i'm going to begin working on that bang so as i mentioned before this was pretty tricky for me but i believe i got it down pat so right now i am just brushing all of my locks to one side and i'm trying to spread them out i'm doing that because i don't want any gaps in between the locks i want them you know to be perfectly stacked right next to each other so you can see me i'm just trying to make sure that i do not create any gaps and please do not feel discouraged if you are having a hard time with this bang because this was very difficult for me to do i have to be honest i definitely had a hard time creating this look because you really have to be really particular but once you get it down pack and all of the locks are in the position that you want them to be you want to begin bobby pinning the locks in the back so you know just grab your bobby pins and begin pinning them that way they do not move from that spot i put a spell on you, on you. and now you Once I am done with my bang, I'm going to pick up my goddess beads from Porsche Abraham. In my last video, I was saying Porsche, but it was Porsche, like the car, like room, room. So yeah, I'm going to pick up my goddess beads from Porsche. Oh, see, I just did it in Porsche. And I'm going to begin applying them to my locks. And I do want to apologize because I did curl my sides off camera, but as punishment, they didn't come out the way I wanted them to anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But I'm going to continue applying these accessories to my locks and I'll be right back. 
But you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys did enjoy this lock tutorial because as always, I had a wonderful time creating this look for you guys. Like look of it, look of it, really look at it. It is beautiful, it is amazing. It is a Britney original. You know how I do. But yeah, this is pretty much it for me. Um, make sure you guys check out Porsche Abraham for these amazing accessories. But yes, until next time, until we meet again, until we're back on YouTube, watch another crazy video of mine. Bye-bye. <laughs>